Two B, two B, two B. What up? What up? What up? You two? You wake your mom up. She not. <laughs> it's your boy, Stevie Knight. And the gang. We about to get, get back on one another these things. Shando, wifey, Diesel, <laughs> Stevie. Mm -hmm. Hey, we about to we about to do some uh some of these um jubilees men's rights versus feminism is toxic masculinity real yes sir yeah i think so men are I very think. toxic including me i'm just playing I'm nah just but that, I, i'm capping i was just saying that they got no. a row up well the this audience. is gonna be a long video what I got, oh. I got things to say. Oh, I think toxic. I think, I, I think toxic masculinity is a real thing, but and that's bad. But, um, all men ain't toxic. No, you know. What? I know women that got some toxic masculinity. Mm -hmm. Can you think of one? You. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you talking about? Um, yeah. Boom! My boy dropped the bomb on her. Nah, right. Nah, that was just. Dang. That was just for shits and giggles. But yeah, what we gonna do? So uh I don't need to be going into the intro. It's probably gonna be a long uh, ass video. So uh y'all ready? Uh let's do it. Thank you for tuning in for Middle Ground, which is all about disagreeing and having a dialogue. That's right. Make sure you stick around to the end because we want to discuss more about the ethos of middle ground. But for now, we hope you enjoy. You said that women are misguided. We are not misguided. We do not need you to shepherd us. Loud as fuck. Yeah, it's super loud. Not gonna be able to hear our voices. The middle ground. Season six. How's it going? Hello. Hello. Would you call yourself a feminist? Um, I would. Yes, an intersectional feminist. Intersectional feminist. Oh, fucking on some whack shit. But I think all women, all women, feminist. but all women are feminists some type of way, unless they think they're a man or something. What's but the I definition think, of a feminist? I think everybody's a feminist, unless you're a misogynist. What's that? What's an intersectional feminist? Sexual form. Why do they got all these hey, subcategories? What is an intersectional? Everybody should be a feminist, though. No. That's not what I ask you. Intersexual feminist. What is a intersexual feminist? She's gonna say some bullshit. She doing some like. Well, here's the definition of feminism. Feminism in general is a theoretical framework based on right. gender equality yep. and the rights of women in contemporary culture. Everybody should be feminist. Right. There's levels to it, though. Okay. Well, right, I guess... what is intersexual, though? Some shit you just made up. <laughs> Put some extra on it. A little salt bay. Bro, I'm the slowest texter ever. They look pretty quick to me. Intersexual. Existing or occurring between the sexes. Relating to or having the condition of being intermediate between male and female. So she can't be a feminist then, if she's between females and males. I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, uh, no. Okay. All Let's right. keep going. All right. Marxism? <laughs> to me, feminism is fairness. I think that it's unfortunately misguided. Feminism is a flow of movements. We can hear the phrase. I agree with that. that. It's too loud still, though. I'm gonna turn this shit down. Do you agree with what? That feminism is a flawed movement because when you think of feminists today, it's the extreme feminists who don't feel like there should be a separation between women and men at all, and they don't—they're the ones that don't like you opening their doors for them or calling them man or cheap, feeling like you need to protect them and shit like that. They don't want to feel like so. The extremists, the extremists—they kind of like okay. took the whole word of feminism out of context and tried to make like a like a bad word. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Got you. What you think about that, babe? I mean, he just said feminism in general, which that's not, I don't think that's a bad movement, but extreme feminists, I think you have to be specific. In how you I, say that's it. What I, I think that's what he meant when he said flawed movement. I think he realizes that it's been taken out of, it's kind of out of control mm. because, of, because, because of the extremists. Mm. Okay. Right. Aggression. Advocating for the human rights of man as a class. I start 
laughing. What do you hope to get in the conversation I would hope to get some insight and probably, if anything, agree on a lot more than disagree. I actually hope to get a little bit more understanding of why some men think this way. Do you think there's a middle ground between men's rights activists and feminism? We'll see. She coming in hot. Uh, hi, my name is Zach, and I am uh, 24 years old. <laughs> um, this is Chris, I'm a PhD student at the University of Southern California, and I'm also a Title IX specialist who challenges discrimination against men on college campuses. And I'm 30 years old. Hi, I'm uh, Derek, I'm uh, Ask My Brendio, I'm a YouTuber, and uh, I'm also known as an incel, which is an involuntarily celibate. Hi, my name is Alicia. I am a writer, poet, and teaching artist. Hi, I currently work in the pet health industry. Huh. And he said he's an involuntary, involuntary celibate. Yeah, he ain't getting no ass. Yeah, that oh, means ain't nobody wow. fucking with him. Hold <laughs> on, why would you? And so, I mean, why would you? Pause. Why would you introduce yourself, like that, yourself like, as that? Yeah. My yeah. bad. Okay. I'm 24. I'm a graduate student with a degree in health sciences, and I'm excited to be here today. Can I get my men's rights activists in the left and my feminists on the right? You step forward if this statement is true for you. I believe men and women are different but equal. Step, yep, step forward. Step forward. Sure. She doesn't think. Oh, she's coming around. She's coming in late. I know as a woman that I don't have the same physical strengths. Men and women are built differently. I think whenever things are built differently, it's for a reason, right? But at the same time, the amount of uh, limits that have been put on women historically, like the fact that not too long ago, we were just allowed to like start voting. Even today, like the wage gap, just all types of stuff. Like women just don't have a lot of rights that are just, it should have nothing to do with what gender we are to be able to be paid equally or um, just be treated with respect. So, yeah. I do believe that of Same. course there are biological differences between men and women. And of course, there should also be legal equality. Of course, I disagree with the idea that women face systemic discrimination. You just mentioned the wage gap, which has been debunked so many times. I've studied um, evolutionary biology quite a bit. And uh, men and women are very different from not just a physical, you know, the bone structure, the neurological department as well, as well as the chemical balances. And also, I don't believe that uh, men and women are equal under the law either, or they should be rather. Children are not equal under the law. And it's not because we hate children, it's because we love them and we want to protect them. So if you believe we're not equal, then that you're inferring that one would be greater than the other. Well, so let me, let me so that's chime in I'm with my perspective. Yes. As far as not being equal, I don't think that that necessarily means inferior or superior. When it comes to certain things like roles like childbearing, a woman is going to be far more productive and a lot more nurturing than say a man and when it comes to doing a lot more of the heavy lifting and the work a man is probably going to be more suited for that role and i don't think that that makes them any better or worse we are just built created and born different i would also like to elaborate Amen. i am not saying that they are worse overall or better overall they complement like each other like he said yeah, yeah they, they, they do they complement each other you beautifully know, they work very well together we need each other for working in that for offspring yeah. i mean that that's just that's part of the beauty of it and i think trying to equalize them and make them the same and you know transition and all that i don't believe is going to be the most conducive when it comes to uh the family raising children but also just for overall well-being i want to note that you brought up children being unequal to adults i just hope you weren't comparing women to children I mean, I, it was technically a comparison of okay. women and children. I don't need you to protect me. Man, get she, this no ass, getting ass. She coming in hot, man. No. She doing get too this much. Dude, this dude ain't talking about nothing oh, yeah. at she all. She doing too much. Talking about, I don't need you to protect me. He was not trying to disrespect her as he a woman or nothing at all. He was. He said that women should not be equal because children are protected. So women should be protected. The example that he used was comparing women to little kids, which 
He sounds like an idiot. He's an idiot. He's an idiot, but I don't think he did that with the intention of trying to compare women to children. He was just using. But when she clarified that. Why did, I know, why did I just pause well, that? He, he said, he yeah. said technically it sounded like that, but I don't think that's what he meant. Because he didn't want to say it. I just, I just used it as an example. But, because I, I understood what he was saying, but I didn't take it him as trying to like show disrespect. So what was he trying to say? The basically, under the no, law, basi no, basi be... no, basically the same thing that the Asian dude was saying. Like that we're, we're different, but we, we're complimenting okay, each other. Okay, but so there are laws to protect children. Like you can't drink, you can't, you know, drive. Right, these are the type of laws that children have that mm -hmm. adults don't. Mm -hmm. Which one of those laws would you there's want like to the, apply the, towards women the, the to domestic, protect like women? Domestic violence. Every time the cops show up, the man's going to jail. That's that's a law written for the women. There's, you know, the abortion laws are always written differently. There's, I can't name off the top of my head. But right? how do you compare that to? But it's, it's just it, uh, it's a, to, there's there's difference there's difference in legality. At some point, it's, it's some form of fashion. From you know, children, women, and men, they're treated, look at different in law in certain aspects. But he's comparing protecting women. He, that was the first thing he said. He shouldn't have said that. It's, it, the, that the, that the, means that's the, dumb. The, 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 the delivery was terrible. He tried to make his point and he did it terribly. But I understood what he was saying. But she's just. I don't think that was his agenda to try to make someone feel that way. I don't think he's trying to compare women. So both. That's literally she just clarified. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I, I know. I understand that he said. She said technically yes. That's not what he's trying to say. Technically, we wouldn't. Technically mean. Technically means I was saying this. Literally, that's what I said. But that's not what I meant. Technically, technically is literally. But that's not, that's not what I was trying to say to you. It's not, that's not the message I'm trying to get across. Technically, that's how it sounded. But that's not the message I'm trying to get across. That's why he said yes. Yeah, technically, that's what I said. But that's not. That's not what I was trying to say. She is that what he said? Like, no, but that's <laughs> that the, no, because when someone because when someone says technically that's what I said that's what they're trying like technically what, he said. He te what he said. No, I we already know what he said. He he tried to he used children as an example to like bring a difference between men and women. No, his response to her now. Yeah. Oh. I just hope you weren't comparing women to children. I mean, I, it was technically a comparison of okay. women and children. I don't need you to protect me. I just need you not to. Technically. It was a comparison of women and children. That's what I said. Technically, that's But you, you're taking it a step further. You can't infer what he but, well, no, was when you say technically, saying or when not you, saying. When you say technically, that's what that means. If, 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 if but I, the explanation that you gave was you can't when, assume when, that that's what. But in like the English language, it's what you, like common communication. That's what that means. When you say technically, that's what I that's what I said, but that's not what I meant. If if she said I was trying to say that, you didn't what she, say that's not what I meant. No, because if if he if she asked him that question, he's like, yeah, that's what that's what I meant. Okay, but you could technically say something and still mean it. No, technically and literally are two totally different things. Like technically, he was saying the difference between women and children, but what he literally meant was that. Children have laws that are protected that protect them and women have laws that protect them also Like it wasn't like a literal sense of comparing the two of them It was just saying technically what was true and what wasn't I feel like that's what, how I interpret it I interpret it too Like if he, if, if he the whole point of him saying technically is what it meant He's like yes, that's what I said. That's what I meant. All right. We got, we got all right. This, we got issues here But, he's but like, we don't know what he meant Cause he said we don't know because they 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 pan to the next like cut they cut the thing but he said technically that's what i that's what i said but when you when you say technically like that that's when your response is saying technically to something you're saying that that's how it looks is what's what is what is what's what's what is presented to you but it's not what i meant that's what he's trying to get across we need to hear how he responds to what she about to say but they not they cut the scene no, I, it was technically a comparison of okay i don't need so you to protect me i just need you not to harm me i can protect myself i'm very capable of doing what i need to do okay uh okay sure see like she coming in hot though that's not what he meant he's definitely a dickhead but that's not what he meant 100 percent. i am a um an incel or an incel advocate, I suppose. I don't hate yeah. women at all. I just I think they're no, different, and they have aspects that are uh, superior to men as well. It's just very contextual on the uh, on the subject. Toxic masculinity is real. Yeah, I 
I think that toxic masculinity is definitely a real thing. It's kind of just the idea of what masculinity should be, but it goes wrong a lot of the times, saying that violence, sex, power, being a controlling person makes you a man. I see it in very unfortunate places, like when the young men or boys in my family, even from like toddler age, are told, you shouldn't be crying, boys don't cry. And what that turns into, I see it when I'm in a bookstore and a guy who tries to get my number says, why y'all always gotta act like that? And he sincerely had this like cracking voice, like he was hurt, but it was an entitlement. And that's toxic masculinity, saying like, you don't realize how your behavior is harmful. That made no sense. One had nothing to do with the other. What does toxic masculinity mean? Is it character traits? Is it upbringing? The suppression of feeling uh, for a lot of men. Because throughout childhood, they're told, man up. So because of that, there's a lot of repression. Repression then is usually channeled into anger for some people because they don't not always know how to express because they're told not to she's express. She's saying a lot about something talking she about don't know. some people. How could like I don't know like telling like she's just reusing the example of like telling you know a boy not to cry. Mm -hmm. Does that necessarily mean that that's a bad thing? Is that according toxic to, according, masculinity? According, that's her definition of toxic masculinity is different than mine. But I hear what she's saying though, like telling a boy not to cry is just going to suppress his feelings of like being sad or not because he don't want to show that he's like weak or something like that. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's going to turn into toxic masculinity. How do, you know gonna, how do you know it's going to turn into toxic right. masculinity? How do you know it's going to be toxic masculinity? Though? Because yeah. when there's a situation where he's supposed to be sad or is supposed to show emotion, he's not going to. Is that toxic? I mean, it could be considered toxic. Why? Because like he's supposed to be showing like either empathy or some type of emotion and he's not doing that which is going to be unfair to the person that he's in the situation with because they're showing emotion that he's not capable of doing because he's been repressing it his whole life so you're saying talking. so you're talking about like an interaction with somebody else yeah that's what I, that's how i interpreted what they were saying but how is that so that's toxic if he's not showing emotion when he should be yeah, because if you're not showing emotion and not like being sensitive to what somebody else is sensitive to that's I feel like but just that's because you're insensitive doesn't mean you got to be emotional about it. What's emotion? You got to cry. Isn't sensitive and emotional s s synonymous with, with, with each other? Well, yeah, I guess there's levels to it, though. Yeah. Like, I think you could be sensitive to something but not have that emotion about it. Like, emotion. I don't know how that... I, I think that's dynamic in nature. Yeah. It, 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 I guess there's levels to that, I guess. I guess why I brought that up is, like, can that be proven? Like, that... She's, no, she said a lot. That's what I'm saying. Like, when based on what he said, he was like, if you're not showing emotion, does that turn into toxic masculinity? And why is it considered masculinity just because he's not showing emotion? Women don't show emotion too. That's toxic yeah. masculinity too? And there's, yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, there's Masculinity does not mean male or female. There's women that can Be have masculine, masculine traits yeah. and that could have toxic masculine traits. Apparently, so upbringing. And, <laughs> that's uh, part of it. Okay. Yes, but not something that's inherently part of, no. of men. Okay. No, I think that you know when you're showing your emotions, especially to like you know, random people, um, random women in some cases, they will view you as weak. I was raised by a single mother. I love her. She's you know she's my mom. I love her. But I could have used being told to to act like a man. I think back there were some cases where I was too emotional and that negatively affected how I, uh, you know, what happened to me. And May I ask a question? Sure. What is your definition of weak as a man? Um, not being as forward as you could be, not being as uh, um, honest or, you know, trying to be not as emotional as you don't need to be. You know, you don't have to cry over a cut. Mm -hmm. I know, you know, sometimes cuts hurt a lot, but sometimes it's necessary to be strong for the benefit of not just yourself, but for the people around you, you know? It's fine to to act emotional in certain cases, but I don't think it's fine to act that way with a woman. Uh, maybe, you know, you have a really good friend and he sees you cry, like, you know, he's your best friend and, and you're crying about something really personal. Um, I think that's fine. I feel way. like you're conflating two different situations because you start off with saying, a random person or even women so it feels like okay this is a woman that you don't have a bond with or any type of uh, relationship with and then you mentioned or from your best friend 
you know, that's okay to cry. Well, that woman could be your best friend. That, you know, like, so, I don't I, and again, a woman, so. And be, because you don't see us as equal, as you said before. I don't think showing emotions is a sign of weakness. I actually think it's a sign of strength. Men do live shorter lives, and that's because of a repression of emotions, and what? that's due that's to just... many things that patriarchy has yeah. instilled. Of emotions. Uh, when these feminists come on they here generalizations. and generalizations and they're so passionate and they talk about it like a stone fact and it's not y'all make but, they're, but they're not sure even talking about, about women because they're toxic but they're not even toxic they're not even talking about toxic masculinity they're, talking about emotions they're just suppression. talking about emotional suppression and the differences between men and women like they're not staying on topic it's all over the place she just said that but it is a broad average, topic though you gotta men on average like, don't live as long because they suppress yeah, that is a broad topic like because you can have be like you can have toxic masculinity in a whole bunch of different situations but i, I think toxic masculinity is toxic masculinity though like it's masculinity to the point where it's bad it's causing yeah. an issue yeah and how often do you see that I don't see that often. Pimps. Like, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the way they're talking about it, like, it happens all the time. Like, how many They're making it seem like being masculine in general is a problem. Is toxic. Yeah. 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 I see what you're saying. You guys notice that when these people talk, it tells you so much about them, like, in their perspective. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, when Buddy in the Yellow is talking, you can just tell, like, I can almost just tell his story, like, single mom. He had issues with his emotions. He didn't yeah. feel like he was strong enough. It's, you feel, could just kind of like. Yeah, I, don't, I don't feel like they're good candidates to talk about subjects like this because you can't. They're not you can't, emotionally you can't just, intelligent. You can't talk about you can't talk about issues and just think about your own perspective. perspective. But yeah, it's, a lot, it's allowing you to see everybody like everybody's specific perspective because yeah. there's just it's not just like a general perspective on what toxic masculinity is you know what i'm saying so they got like a feminist view and then the different perspectives of different feminists and they got men's rights activists and then the different perspective of the but what he's saying is like they're talking so much about my experience like me 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 mm. you know i went to a bookstore and this dude said this you can't do that you can't just look at things from your perspective you have to look at it from a broad, a broad general, general you know, I got you. be objective. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because he was talking about That's his personal experience. Does this make sense? Or just because some, this has happened to me, even yeah. though this makes sense, yeah, that's going to overpower yeah. what yeah. makes sense. That shit happens all the time. It has been shown that a person's well-being, uh, their lifespan is shortened when they are not able to express their emotions. In addition, when they don't have physical touch mm -hmm. or when they don't have a partner to keep them company. We are human beings here. We need man. to talk to each other. Mm -hmm. And if you think that our health isn't affected when you're not able to express that you were sad or upset, you're wrong. I think that men's rights activists are only men's rights activists as a response to women expressing that they want more equality. I don't think they focus on actual men's rights issues and rather it's just an attack on women and feminism. Today, women have more advantages than men. What do you guys think? I can speak from a hiring standpoint. No, I think. I would have definitely stepped forward because I believe in that as a thing is pretty girl privilege. Like y'all have so much more access to stuff just because y'all have a pretty face. 